Namaste. Today I am going to talk on OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. So many people have this problem of OCD where they are forced to do some physical action, repetitive action and they are really troubled. They feel they don't have any control on these actions. So we have to understand for any physical action the body itself cannot do any action. The order has to come from somewhere. Okay, the, There has to be a thought starting in the mind and then there are connections made in the brain and they send messages to the body parts to do whatever they are going to do as a compulsive behavior. So we're going to cash on that aspect, you know, an action cannot be there without a thought behind that. So you can get rid of this through hypnotherapy. So if you are really troubled by OCD and you are ready to give a chance to come out of that, here is your chance. So take a comfortable position, make sure you are not driving a vehicle or running any machinery when you are doing this. You can do this either lying down or sitting in Sukhasana or sitting on a chair, feet flat on the ground and hands placed leisurely on your lap, on your thighs. So keep your back completely straight and take some deep breaths. As the breath is going in, feel the relaxation getting into your body and as you are exhaling, a slow exhalation, allow your eyes to close. As you exhale, the eyes are closing gently. Now inhale deeply, open your eyes. Choose any point just at the eye level in front of you. Look at that and feel the relaxation going into your body as you inhale. And as you exhale, again allow your eyes to close. Gently the eyelids are falling down. So continue this for some more time. Deep inhalation, taking the relaxation into your body and as you exhale you're allowing your eyelids to close every time you do this you feel that your eyelids are becoming heavier and heavier just keep continuing that and by this final exhalation, the long exhalation, allow your eyes to close and let it remain closed. So eyelids are remaining closed from now on. So every breath that goes in is taking you deeper and deeper into this wonderfully relaxed state. And every breath that goes out is removing all the stress and tension from your body completely. So every breath that goes in taking you deeper and deeper and every breath that goes out and every sound that you hear from me and also every sound that you hear from your surrounding is taking you deeper and deeper. So as you are in this deeply relaxed state, I want you to imagine or sense the presence of five steps in front of you. When I count from five to one, you're going to climb down those stairs one by one. Five. You put your foot on the topmost stair. Try to feel that sensation 
is that stuck warm or cold? Four, on to the next step. What do you think that step is made of? It's a wooden step or a marble step, cemented step or mud step, whatever. Three, one more step down. Two, and the final step, one. So you have reached, as you look around, you see that you have reached a magical, mystical, perfect place. Maybe you have visited this place sometime back in your life. Or it's a totally imaginary place. A very soothing, comfortable place. So spend a few seconds taking in all the beauty around. Very scenic place. Filled with trees. Filled with fragrance of flowers. Looks like it's going to be daybreak soon. You can hear the sound of flowing water somewhere nearby. And there's a path. As you start walking on that path, on the left side, you see a cabin. So walk towards that cabin. When you reach there, you see that. You can go around and see that cabin. There is no door. You come back to the place where you started and you see that there's a small hole on that wall. You can peep in through that hole. And then you realize it's a mirror house. There are thousands of mirrors on all the walls inside. As you keep looking at that, it looks very beautiful with all those mirrors. Now just take a look outside again, just adjacent to that peephole, you see a dial. It's a round dial and you can move that dial with your hands. There are two markings on that dial. One, it is written, the act. And the other one is the thought before the act. Okay, now you can turn this dial first towards the act. So the needle of the dial, you have moved it towards the act. Now you go back and look into that peephole again. As you are looking inside with all those thousands of mirrors, suddenly you notice you are standing in the center of that cabin. You are watching from outside but you see yourself inside too. And that you inside the cabin is doing that act which is the problem you're having, the obsessive compulsive disorder. Whether it is keeping something clean, keeping it, dusting it again and again and again, or washing your hands again and again and again. So whatever problem you have as obsessive compulsive disorder, you're watching that other you doing it inside that mirror house. And when that act is being done, it's reflected in all those mirrors, thousands of mirrors. And you just keep watching. As you're watching that act being done repetitively and being reflected from thousands of mirrors, you reach a point of saturation. You feel you, you are really fed up of that act. You are ready to quit doing that again in your life. Just keep watching.
We're going to reach that point. When I count from 3 to 1, we are just going to reach that point of the feeling that enough is enough. 3, 2, 1. We can feel that saturation inside your mind. Now you take your eyes off that peep hole, come to that dial and turn it towards the thought before the act. And now again, peep into that hole. Now you can either see or sense the thought in that you inside the mirror house. You may or may not know consciously, but your subconscious has come to identify the thought which is causing this repetitive action. So you are sensing, sensing in, in that person and also as it is being reflected in those thousands of images. And you are seeing that through your eyes, the thought before the act. It's getting embedded into your eyes. And you know that eyes are projections of the brain. So let it totally get embedded into your eyes. And when you think you have reached the saturation point, you can take your eyes off that peephole and come back to the path. So by this time, you see that the sun has started rising slowly on the horizon on the right side of the path. You can see some mountains and you see the sun is about to rise. So walk towards those mountains and choose a place from where you can see the sunrise very very clearly. You can feel your eyes heavy with all those the act before the sorry the thought before the act was totally embedded in your eyes the eyes are feeling quite heavy so choose that place and when you stand there to watch the sunrise the sun is rising up in the horizon and it is going up it's becoming a little brighter and you feel yourself rising above all by yourself. You are in line with that rising sun and you are also moving towards the sun. The sun is considered a burning fireball. So you are not going too near to that at a safe distance where your body is safe. So you are suspended in the air in line with the rising sun at a safe distance. Now I want you to look straight into that rising sun. And as you keep looking, you feel that something like a you know, vapor or air escaping from your eyes. It is that saturated thing that came up from the mirror house, the thought before the act. It's going towards the sun, getting released from your eyes. So since eyes are the projections of the brain, the thought that resides in your brain, that's also going out through your eyes. Feel that. You can sense that. Let it keep going out 
and as it nears the sun what happens the sun has the capability to burn anything so as it is going closer to the sun you see in front of your eyes that is getting burnt it's burnt forever and there is nothing you can do about it the thought whichever thought was causing you to act in a compulsive manner the obsessive compulsive disorder which you are having once the thought behind the act is gone the body cannot act by itself so watch that escaping your eyes going towards the sun and getting burnt it's keeping on happening and soon it's going to end now you see the last specks of those thoughts just leaving your eyes and also from your brain going towards the sun getting burnt burnt forever and there is nothing you can do about that and then you notice there's a lightness in your body mind and emotion that you're suddenly feeling because this thought has been a heavy thought and as it is leaving you're feeling really light and then when you look at the sun you see some vibrant cool energy coming from the sun towards you through the eyes through your eyes into your brain this healing cooling energy is replacing or filling up the space left by that thought the heavy thought which was occupying your brain so far and as it is filling up you have a very wonderful feeling feel that in every part of your body and as you're feeling it you see that you're slowly coming down away from the sun coming down to that spot which you had chosen to stand and see the sunrise you feel like a different person you feel empowered in control feel that totally in your body mind and emotion now you can turn into that path and walk back walk back towards those five steps you're going to climb those steps but before that just have a look around look at that wooden cabin fill your mind with gratitude for that cabin look at those mountains and the sun fill your mind with gratitude for the mountains and the sun because they have helped you to get rid of that ocd problem and your life is going to be entirely different from this moment on and there is nothing you can do about that your life is going to be wonderful so fill your mind with that thought and start climbing those stairs one on to the first step you can feel the difference in your body and mind and emotion feel so light and empowered two the next step 
just leaving all the limiting beliefs right now here and now three four and five you can you have come back climbing all those stairs take a few more moments to feel the difference in your body mind and emotion such a wonderful state thank the universe for bringing this happen and now you're ready to come back to the present and now you can take three deep breaths first deep breath making this new status totally within your body mind and emotion two totally trusting your inner self and three you're totally awake alert and revitalized and slowly open your eyes so it's a new life isn't it without the ocd problem so i would like to read your comments how you feel your life different without the ocd problem so just come back and put in the comment section so namaste and bye until next time bye bye